how it goes. Sometimes those dates that you have late night end up carrying over to breakfast. So I'm going to teach you a really, really hot and easy way to start your morning. A really simple sandwich with um, fried eggs, a little bit of arugula, and a blood orange screwdriver. It will impress anyone that you have left over from the night before. So this is Caroline Wright with Hot and Easy. Jeff with me here in the kitchen today. Um, he sometimes know how, knows how it goes to have guests in the morning. So, right, right? Yeah, I'm fine. We know it, it's all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you to put eight pieces of speck, which is just a cured um, sort of ham product. You can definitely go with prosciutto if you wanted to, or brezziola is really good. You can even use bacon actually, but you just wanna watch um, the baking time um, to make sure that you cook it all the way through. It's gonna have a little bit longer of a baking time. So we're going to stick this into a 425 degree oven. It's going to take about eight minutes, um, and then we're just going to—it's going to give us time to get everything else together—a simple cocktail and um, just assemble the sandwich. Okay, a few more pieces. Yeah. It's looking spectacular. <laughs> Who's nice. excited? Nice. Right, thanks. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> All right, great. I'm going to get this into the oven. So I'm just going to teach you a really simple egg cracking technique. Um, I feel like a lot of people use corners to crack um, eggs, and that actually ends up usually piercing the yolk. So if you um, crack it on a flat surface, just like this, and then you use your fingers to pull apart the shell, nice. you get a much more, more likely that you're going to have an intact yolk just like that. Why don't you give, it, give one a try? All right. Will do, Caroline. <laughs> There we go. Is that Nicely good? done. Thanks. Nicely done. Thanks. All right. So we have a medium skillet going over here. Um, we have a one tablespoon of butter that we've divided into two pieces. I'm just going to throw one of those pieces in there to this nice hot skillet, which is really important when you're frying an egg. It's going to get nice and foamy. Look at that. Sounds great already. That's the best. Frying an egg and butter is just the best. Yeah. Butter makes everything better. It does. <laughs> so they say. So they say. <laughs> All right. So these are just going to start to cook right away. And what you're looking for is just an intact white and a still runny yolk, which is going to take about three to four minutes in this hot skillet, which is this half tablespoon of butter. So easy. We'll be right back. We're going to pull out the speck from the oven, and we'll have the other set of eggs already cooked. So we'll be right back. Hey, so the speck has been out of the oven. It was at 425 for about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And so we Jeff just finished cooking two more eggs. Looking good. We've already oh, yeah. plated this guy. Do you want to come and bring over those eggs over here? I'm going to yes. just... Are you ready for me? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to put these four slices of speck on this piece of toast. <sighs> and just a little bit. This is a half bunch of arugula. Just It's okay if it's messy. It's how we like it. Yeah, especially in the morning. <laughs> yeah, right? can't be expected to like, make anything too nice. Ooh. Nope, okay. you're good. You're good. We're okay? Yeah. All right. You Spectacular. I have faith. Oh, there you okay. go. It's going to be brave like Julia Child. Nice. Woo! So we're just going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And just drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Now we're actually just going to make this really simple cocktail. Um, we're going to make a blood orange screwdriver. Shut the front door. Yeah. That's awesome. Right? So um, normally, I would probably use fresh blood orange juice, but because it's October, they're not in season. But if you were doing this around January, December, totally use fresh orange juice. Um, or you could definitely make this, obviously, with fresh regular orange juice. That's yeah, not as sexy though, right? 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 Um, so this is pasteurized um, blood orange juice, which you can definitely find in the market too. Um, it's just not as pretty of a, a color, but it's still just as delicious. So why don't you go ahead and pour those into the glasses? So just like halfway? It, it, just just go ahead. Go, go, go ahead and pour it. it. Yep. And we're going to top it with some vodka. Like there? Yeah. Are you feeling it? Go that? for it. Okay. And so just a nice generous swig. We do like it hot and easy in the morning, but maybe not too hot and not too easy. Oh, you know, whatever. Good morning. However it rolls. <laughs> good. We're good. So, um, this is Hot and Easy with Caroline Wright. Thanks for stopping by. Just trying to find